my channel. Hey, lovey subbies, how are you doing today on this wonderful Wednesday? We've made it to the middle of another week. I swear, all I gotta do is blink my eyes and we will be uh, here on next Magical Monday. No, <laughs> Okay, maybe not that fast, but it is kind of crazy. So today I'm gonna do a channel chat and it's gonna be about my new crazy obsession. Well, it's not new, I've always done it, but now I think I've over... I've overdone it and have gotten crazy. And I'm talking about all this. <laughs> Do you guys see this here? So many. And this is just a little bit of all that I have. So, oh my goodness. I've been recently so obsessed with rescuing Barbies from thrift stores. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. I've always done that though. I've always gone to thrift stores and, you know, found uh, a couple of Barbies and brought them home and cleaned them up. But now it's like, I really, really love going. I love finding certain ones that are really, really nice. And there's probably a few reasons why I do that. Do any of you guys do that? I just can't help myself. Um, and I think it has to do with, let me use some of these ladies as an example. Uh, the way Mattel is throwing Barbie down the Barbie doll poo dumpster shoot. Um, she's kind of really not that great anymore, in my opinion, in my opinion. I know when I said I stop, wanted to stop collecting the fashionistas, I am talking about me personally, folks. I don't mean for you to stop collecting them. If you collect them, have fun, do your thing, honey. Um... But for me, I just don't want to sink my money into them anymore. So I really love these dolls. Look, it's Tiana. Um, because they have the bendable knees and they're jointed and they're pretty. And this Barbie right here reminds me of Barbies with the bodies from my childhood, the 80s and the 90s. And I just would rather buy these at the thrift store and fix them up myself than go out and buy a new Barbie doll who is a little mannequin doll. Um, so yeah, that's one of the reasons. And the next reason is, I think it's because when I go to a thrift store and I see a Barbie doll on the shelf, there's just some kind of joy of buying her and then taking her home, fixing her up, doing her hair, washing her hair, cleaning her body off, making her all pretty, and dressing her up in some fabulous clothes, and bringing her back to life. I don't know. It's probably just kooky me that thinks, oh, how sad she's sitting on the shelf all by herself. She's been donated. She needs a dolly family, and then I have to rescue her. <laughs> so that's another reason why um, and I think that has been the reason for a couple, uh, I've been, uh, a couple of months. I mean, I've been going to thrift stores and I've been searching for, uh, first it started out, I was searching for bodies for some of my fashionistas that I ended up keeping. And I did find really good matching bodies with, uh, bendable knees, arms, you name it. I found that, found them, but then... I was like, oh, but this one's so cute over here, and this is so cute, and she's so cute. And then I just started buying some. So I think I'm going to cut back now. I think I have enough to clean up. I mean, I managed to fill up a whole, um, you know, one of those three plastic cases full of thrift store Barbies that I've put back to life, dressed them, did their hair, and, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, these are really, really great dolls. And not everybody wants to keep their dolls, which I totally understand. Not everybody wants to be uh, an adult and have their dolls still. People grow out of it. Except for me. <laughs> and you guys. <laughs> but that's okay. Everybody does their own thing. So, you know, I just love that they're there at the thrift store. But then I feel bad that they're at the thrift store because they're really fabulous. And so, yes. Here I am. I mean, but look at her. She's so beautiful. And she can bend. And her legs bend. And she looks great in the dream house. And dolls are just fun to fix up. They are. So I'm wearing my Walking Dead shirt because usually I wear this to the Goodwill. It's old and, um, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes because of the paint and stuff, the price tags they write with the marker pin on the dolls, it gets all over me and it's crazy. Um... 
But how was, did you, do you guys watch The Walking Dead? Okay, I did not care about the premiere. I watched it, but I was like, mm -mm. which is like totally sad for me because I love that show. I was so excited when it first premiered. I watched it since day one with my family. I've been a zombie fan since I was a little boy. George A. Romero is the godfather of zombies and I absolutely adore him. And I love zombies. They're creepy and they're kooky and I love them. But I'm just not feeling The Walking Dead anymore. I didn't watch all of last season. I watched a couple of episodes and um, I just did not care about the whole drug out Negan thing. So totally boring. Um, and the fact that he's still in it, it's like, please move on. Let's do something else. Um, and then I'm really super sad that Andrew Lincoln is leaving. I mean, he plays Rick Grimes. I understand why he's leaving, though. He's done a show for nine years. His family is in England. So, he, you know, he's got to he's gotta do things, which is totally understandable. But, like, for me, he's the main character. He's this guy right here, looking adorable as ever. He's on my Rolling Stone over there. What is the point of The Walking Dead without Rick Grimes? So, you know, I kind of feel that way. But... I have love for y'all that are sticking in, you're watching the show, you still love it. Like I said, do your thing. I'm just saying, you know, I didn't love it. Did you love the premiere? Did you watch the premiere? But anywho, back to my, my thrift store dolls, my thrift store Barbies. So I think I'm going to simmer down a little bit because I have too many. But what about you guys? Do you go to thrift stores and do you end up like... I'm going to say the word because I have to use the H word here because it fits hoarding <laughs> the Barbies and bringing them home, adding them to your collection and fixing them up and making them pretty. Now, I don't know. I should use the hoarding word lightly because I don't go in and buy every Barbie there. There's certain Barbie dolls that I like and that I'm looking for, skin tones, uh, different body shapes or whatever. Um, and I really, really love rescuing these girls with the classic Barbie body. And so, um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I keep buying or should I lay low for a little bit? <laughs> so I don't know, guys. I hope you enjoyed this channel chat today. <laughs> I thought it would be something fun to show you guys. I wish I could have showed you every single one of these that I've rescued, but, um, it, yeah. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it on camera. It's just out of this world. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's show. I hope you're having a magical Wednesday and y'all having a lot of fun. And um, may the doll god shine on you while you're at the thrift store. If that's what you're doing today, have fun out there. Remember to love your family, love your friends, but most importantly, love yourself. Be kind, stay positive, and until we meet again in this fabulous <gasps> thrift store Barbie doll world, <laughs> you guys have a magical day, and I will see you tomorrow for, is it Thurs Throwback Thursday? It's Throwback Thursday tomorrow. So tune in. Bye-bye, <laughs> <Bye> guys. <laughs>